Hello, happy crafters. Happy Monday. I had um, some requests from y'all to do a tutorial. Y'all, I'm not good at tutorials. So I'll try to whip through this and then I'll link it to the tutorial I followed. I know there are so many people out there who have similar tutorials. But this is a great way if you have these paper studio kits because this paper is so thin um, sometimes it's hard to create with but these simple easy peasy cards yes please so I made three and I'm going to show you how you do it well I'll try to <laughs> so anyways you cut your card base out at five and a half by eight and then you score it at three six and seven and all the measurements will be in the tutorial that I link and then this paper this front paper is cut at two and three fourths by five and a fourth and this is seven and an eighth by five and a fourth I did not show you me cutting and gluing because whoo <laughs> I'm a little shaky Jake and you'd be going, Annie, stop it. Just stop it. Glow it. So <laughs> that's the base of the card. Now the um, part that goes over the card, it's a step panel and this is three by six and it's scored at four and a quarter. And I will show you how all of this goes. So first we're going to um, fold this. So this is the card base, and we're going to fold it in, and I use a bone folder. A lot of people use different things. Jovi, I see, uses her scissors all the time. So that makes the step part of it, and then this part you fold back. burnish that. So that's the basis of your card. And then this is the step part, the step panel, and this was the one that was um, cut at three by six and then scored at four and a quarter. I'm going to show you actually on one card that I've not completed how to glue that on. But guys, this is so easy. Just go ahead, follow the tutorial. This is a great way to get rid of, not get rid of, <laughs> use up a lot of the papers and embellishments that you've had a long time and you're ready to move on to something new. So here's the first card that I created. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, this inside panel is, um, to, what is that inside panel? The inside panel is two and a quarter by five and a fourth. Now, I did not glue any of these in because I'm going to write on it first and then go ahead and glue it in. So on the final card, that's what it looks like. So that here's the front, and then when you open it, that's the back. And this folds into a regular A2 size envelope. Easy peasy. So that's the first one. I used the paper, I used stickers, and I used um, one of their clear stickers. That's it. None of these cards are fancy. I didn't do anything. I didn't ink. I didn't even wink a Stella, if you can believe that. No wink a Stella for this girl. I don't know if it's going to come in any better. I guess not. So that says thankful for friends. And then this one, same thing. I didn't glue the inside in. I just have it sitting here. And this one, I just moved it over a little bit. So it's kind of in the middle. It's not perfectly in the middle, but it's kind of in the middle. And you can move this panel anywhere you want so that this paper shows or this paper shows, however you want the paper to show. And that's how it goes. So I'm going to show you real quickly how to glue this panel on. Now... On previous cards I've made like this, I've put a piece of white cardstock and I inked it and then I stamped on it. 
and I did uh, several of our other things to it. I didn't just use a sticker and a paper embellishment. But you could do whatever you want. You can make it as fancy as you want or as simple as you want. Now, I recommend that you decorate all this before you glue it on. It's a lot easier. <laughs> so, you figure out where you want this to be. So, for me, let's see, where do I want this? I think I kind of want it there. So, this is what I do. I line it up with the bottom piece. And, oops, I need my glue. Sorry, I, I wasn't even prepared to make a video today, but here I am. <laughs> I'm getting excited for 4th of July. It's going to be fantastic. Okay. So you just glue that in. Make sure you only glue up to the part that's folded. Don't get any glue anywhere else. And I try to line it up as good as I can with this um, DSP, Designer Series Paper is what they call it. I just call it pattern paper because this isn't stamping up. But <laughs> My pattern paper. Okay, so now here you have your card. And you have this flat back here. So what you do is you fold your card. Okay, you've decorated the front. If you put anything on the front, definitely let it uh, dry first. Then you're going to um, burnish this again. And all you're going to do is just glue this straight on. Now, see, we've already glued the front. So we don't have to worry about aligning this. It will align up perfectly. There we go unless you glue it wrong, <laughs> but I didn't, thank you. <laughs> I always worry if I'm doing any kind of demonstration, whoop, whoop, did I glue it wrong? <laughs> but you guys like me anyways, you like me for all my flaws. So that's the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, I will link it in the description box below. Really, it's a great way to use up some of your papers and stickers that you've had around for a long time. I hope you all have an amazing 4th of July. I, um, we are definitely going to, and I will tell you all about it on Wednesday. And you know what I'm going to say. I can't even find my sign. That tells you how prepared I was today. You know what I'm going to say, y'all. Hugs and moochies. And happy early 4th of July. Love y'all. Bye.